Now, efforts to expand Medicaid in Mississippi may be moving from the state legislature to the ballot box. Several organizations are working to get a Medicaid expansion question on next year's ballot. 12 News' Tao Tall looks at the early stages of the movement. A coalition of organizations is pushing for Medicaid expansion to be on the ballot. Mississippi Hospital Association, along with the NAACP, want the people to be a part of the decision-making process. We get complaints around a number of issues that come to the NAACP. Um, and I can't count the number of times where people we've gotten phone calls, emails, or messages about people having issues around access to care. It's a topic that year after year has died in the legislature. Messages is, is that we ought to and should be right by the citizens of the state. The months-long effort for the Medicaid ballot initiative hopes to continue the conversation of why health care is important in the Magnolia State. Flashback to the last day of the legislative session, House Speaker Philip Gunn said he remains opposed to Medicaid expansion. I'm not open to Medicaid expansion. I am not in favor of that. From what I know about it, we cannot afford it. it, is, it, it there, there are numerous reasons that we don't need to do that. For now, the Medicaid ballot initiative is still in the early stages. This is us listening to uh, what Mississippians have been talking about for the past several years. Mississippi is reportedly one of 12 states that refuses to expand Medicaid, leaving hundreds of thousands of citizens in the dark. I think the thing that, again, that we continue to raise, the thing that's most important uh, about this is, is that listening to the ear, listening and being representative of so many folks across the state who said this thing needs to get done, uh, and we're just trying to move this process along. The Medicaid ballot initiative requires 106,000 signatures to be considered for the 2022 midterm election. In Jackson, Tau Ta 12 News.